I am sending Ruth one of our extremely desirable and sought-after clocks. <laughs> and as always, glad to see the back of it. Oh, listen, I'm not kidding you. They're out to get me today. They keep switching themselves off, you know. Hang on, I'll see if I can apply a little technical thing to them. Will you start? That's it, Terry. If the equipment doesn't work, just shout. I found it always worked for me. It's not my fault. I think. They say the need And now, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Pank's Radio Nightmares. Oh, yeah. This is Steve Pank, and welcome to more Radio Nightmares. More of those wonderful radio bloopers when things go wrong. Right, let's start with some... Drivel. Tomorrow it's likely to become overcast again, and there could even be some drivel towards morning. Tonight will be cool and windy with the chance of drivel, drizzle in eastern England and the Midlands. Northern Ireland, northern England and most of eastern Scotland will be cloudy with a 30% chance of a drizzle. In Russia, Boris Yeltsin is trying to rebuild his government after Wednesday's 10-hour battle that ended in the deaths of hundreds of dead people. You are listening to Steve Pank's Radio Nightmares. Hello, you're on the air. Virgin 1215 car stickers are now available from participating mobile, or mobile rather, so yeah, mobile service stations. The serenade for wind, cello and bass, or even bass, in D minor are just thirsty. Shares have ended barely changed with the half point cut in ba base bank, bank base rates today. And 19 year old aircraft man from Anglesey, who was hit by at least three bullets, has lost his his fight to have a, his has lost <coughs> has had a foot amputated after a long operation. How much of a benefit will this new department be to Plymouth? Because I know that uh, we had a neurophysiologically we had a neuro <laughs> what's the word neurophysiology. Thank you. Yes, I know that we had a neurophysiology. <laughs> and finally, East Germany has admitted for the first time that some of its top athletes have been taking performance enhancing drugs. The admission comes just five months after athletics officials vigorously denied allegations in a West German magazine that top, st top stars were, routine were routine routinely taking drugs. 12.15. And we had fine young cannabis. The time right now, four minutes past four. Let's get straight into the programme and find out what's been happening whilst I've been getting the programme ready. At the moment, I'm trying to find a piece of paper. And here we are. We've got it. No, we haven't. Just stand by I should be with you in one second because at the moment the stories that are coming in thick and fast haven't quite arrived here. Thank you very much. Five minutes past two and the jury looking into the... Steve Pink's <laughs> Radio Nightmares. Wow. Police believe the animal surprised a burglar and savaged him before he could escape. They're also asking the public to report any items of blood splattered cur... bollocks. Splat... I'm sorry, we'll, we'll return to that report in a moment. I think you have to look at the overall structure of our game. And I think for the first time in a decade, the Welsh Rugby Union has to say, instead of papering over the craps, crack... A record that's always puzzled me from Lynn Anderson and Rose Garden. It's the chorus that says love shouldn't be so melancholy. I mean... Am I a bit thick or naive or what? But I must admit, melancholy, fruity dog? I mean, what does melancholy mean? If anybody knows, maybe you can let us know. Then later on this morning, I'm sure there's lots of other people out there wondering about that. The sound of a band is much better if they're playing to an audience. When, uh... Sorry, I've forgotten the next question. Um, where was I? Um... My mind's going to complete blank. It's age. It brings to 20 the number of youngsters who've been made temporary wards of court. Oops. Well, that was the summary. I'm sorry about that. Yes, I should explain that that was Nigel Cassidy. <laughs> falling through the door. <laughs> I heard him making an entrance. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Shall we tell you while Nigel Cassidy is here while he gets his breath back? 29 minutes to nine. We're now going to have a business update. A breathless one. <laughs> yes, well, I fell and uh, served most of the market. You are listening to Steve Pank's Radio Nightmares. Hello, you're on the air. Angie Gold with a new single called Lucky in Love. <coughs> I can't tell you just what's happened. <laughs> the whole place has fallen apart. Delays are likely at times on the A45 at Rough and Green, east of Barry St. Edmunds. There are lane closures at the Rookery Crossroads, so delays likely at times. 
The A1065 at Barton Mills, though, southeast... Oh, my clock has fallen on the desk. I'm still here, though. The... If I... A bit of a bump on the head, though. The A1065 Barton Mills, southeast of... Glad you could join me once again right through until 12.30 today. Well, I hope you put your cocks forward. That's it from us. Today's editor was Chris Burkett. The producer, Sean Williams. This is John Sopel. And Wendy Austin. The next news on 4 o'clock is at 6 o'clock, but from p.m. That's all until 5 p.m. on Monday. Have a good weekend. Crazy. I don't know why this government won't do it. People have cried out for hanging to come back, and they've just turned a blind ear. Hello? 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 Hello, you're on the air. You are listening to Steve Pink's Radio Nightmares. We'll have some fun. Fun. Patterson of Falkirk and Sterling has written in about a special year. He's uh, one of our blind listeners. And 1974 was the year he first got his first guide dog, uh, who was with him until he retired in 1981. Had a number of uh, different blind... Oh, sorry, blind dogs is what he actually says in the letter. So, I mean, blind dogs for the guides, I wish you'd say. No, no, guide dogs for the blind. Had a number of them since uh, 1974, and they've all been wonderful. Some punk with a shotgun Kill young Danny Bailey in cold blood. Now, this is supposed to be Candle in the Wind, but as you can probably tell, it's not actually Candle in the Wind. Not unless Elton has rewritten it in the last little while. So, I'll just remove the compact disc from the box and uh, put the one that it's supposed to be. It's one of these double compact discs. They both look the same. The writing is far too small for my eyes. I think this may be Candle in the Wind this time. Sounds a little more familiar to me, anyway. Hardly any mistakes in this program. That won't be false. Goodbye, Norma Jean. No, I never knew you would all you had. Do you want to have another go at it, Elton? This is not. This is not going to be the greatest compact disc that ever worked in on the history of radio. Is it? Sorry about that. It's a nice song, but uh, at the. But still going. You want to see this thing wobbling about? This is Steve Pank's Radio Nightmares. Music. We heard that bit, Bruno. Thank you. Said with feeling. One more time. 416. The posse back after this. On the big one. I've got to take a little time. A little time to think things over. Oh, don't do that. You're going to continue with this, aren't you? It's not big and it's not clever. Oh, we have a bit of a problem now. Um, it's very strange sometimes. CDs do play. Well, let's have another go at getting this right. That's better. Let's uh, see if this one's going to work. Um, oh, what a shame. Well, um, right, but it's just to talk among yourselves. It does happen sometimes. What a pity. That was supposed to be what a waste by Ian Dury, but it won't actually play. Um, so, uh, and it's a pity because the story behind it, which I shall tell you in a second, um, of uh, the person who requested it, but I'm just uh, trying to set up. I think we've got complete uh, CD meltdown here. Don't quite know what to do. Anyway, well, let's swap this one over for that one. Um, ah, there we are. Now, this should be okay. Live radio and all that. Um, yeah, I'll just set this one up and I'll tell you the story because it is worth telling. Right, now we have, um, well, we just had God Only Knows by the Beach Boys and before that Jesus and Mary Chain, Nine Million Rainy Days and we should be having Ian Dewey, what a waste. Well, I'm sorry we can't play it, but uh, this is the Rolling Stones. And I was wondering how you were feeling after the burglary. It's not none of your business, is it, darling? Really? Yeah, okay, goodbye. Okay, thank you. When did you first hear about this? What, when did you first realise? Oh, me, I had about it. I mean, you don't know me about it. You don't know me about it. Here. But uh, that is what happened. The water, I mean, they made a plan that nothing they had done. Oh, how special would it be to have a mandolin? You know, I'll be very special for you. Yeah, you've, you've always played it, have you? Eh? How long have you been playing the mandolin? Oh, I have been playing it. I've not played anything for it. No, how long I'm have you... I've seen it. How long have you been, been actually playing the musical instrument? For, you know, have you been playing it all your life? I've only had it. 
I don't know how long I've had it. Give us one that you know how to play on acoustic. Um, Beatles, I was, I know Maxwell, Silver Hammer, oh buddy, oh buddy, they're on particularly uh, proficient at. Well, Maxwell, Silver Hammer. <clears throat> yes, um, okay. there's a problem here. What's that? Marianne, uh, ignoring me request to uh, walk over here to uh, commence telephone holding activities, uh, has gone into the kitchen. Mm. And mm. Uh, now I can't signal her because I can't see her and she can't see me. And I'm stranded and I can't play guitar and hold the phone. What about putting the phone? I'll tell you the way to do it. Yeah. You put the phone receiver in your mouth and you clench it with your teeth. But then the, the bit that me ear needs to go next to will be next to me nose. This is a funny shaped mouth. <laughs> If you feel strongly about it, go to your training standards department. Regional Council asked them to investigate. That's very interesting. I think we might be on fire. Look up to your right, Beagle. Ah, oh, yes, there's <laughs> smoke blowing in here. Yeah, that's all right. Carry on, oh. carry on. <laughs> on both sides. <laughs> Get on with the program. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a break and have a bit of music. We might we'll not get the fire extinguisher. We yeah. might not be here when you come back. But anyway, um, all things being equal, we shall be. So, that, that, that quite literally, is it's either smoke or steam. I'm not quite sure which it is. Anyway, it's blowing in through both of the ventilators here. Yeah. So, anybody listening, who happens to know about these things, perhaps they care to find out what's going on. Meanwhile, we'll have a listen to this. Well, I have to tell you, I've been broadcasting a few years, but I've never seen anything like that was America, incidentally. Like, what's going on in this studio at the moment? If the DG happens to be listening, or MDR, or Control, or anybody, it's worth coming and having a look. There is steam, steam, blowing in through two ventilators. It's like being in a sauna. Don't worry, Jim, I've written help on the, <laughs> on in the <laughs> steam on the glass, so if anybody is looking in from the outside, they know what it is. Well, if this goes on much longer, I'm going to take my clothes off. Don't you know that Oh, so we've got a, a little scratch here. Yeah, we'll just move it on a little bit. Yes, yeah, that should be a bit better. Oh, no, we're still in trouble. We're still in trouble. Hold on. That's a bit better. Well, I have to get rid of it. Hang on a second, we're, in, we're definitely in trouble here. I have to move that on us a little second. Oh, I see what's the problem here. We've got something in the way. Uh, I think it's a piece of Mike Allen's biscuit. I think we're better now. Ah, uh, yes, that's much better. Well, at this stage, I'd be delighted if I could actually persuade UB40 to sing for you, but at the moment, they seem to have a, a little bit of a problem getting started, but we might persuade them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm afraid that's completely unacceptable, so we'll have Mike Huggins instead. Can somebody fetch the loo roll, please? Steve Pank's Radio Nightmares. So, that's your lot for this edition of Radio Nightmares. If you do have any radio blooper clips, do send them in. RadioNightmares at gmail.com. And there's more next time. But just before we go, uh, what's that strap line again? Of course, it's uh, non-stop music with Terry Ray on Essex Radio FM. That's... Uh, 96.3, 102.6, and he's knocking himself silly there with uh, your greatest hits and latest memories. No, he's not. I got that wrong again. Latest memories, greatest hits. Latest hits, greatest memories. Greatest memories, latest hits. I knew I'd get it. I've only been here seven years.